Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. Now one thing about the John Deere T-Series Gators is that from the factory these seats are solid mount, meaning that there is no seat adjustment so you can slide this seat either forward or to the rear to give yourself a little more room or maybe for those smaller operators to get them closer to the pedals. But there is an attachment kit that you can add to this seat to give you that seat slide, which I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to install today. So if you'll stick with me here, we'll get started. Let's go over what all parts are gonna come in the kit and then also the tools that we're gonna to need to do this install. Now, as you can see here, we have two different plates. This is going to be our seat mount plate and then this is going to be our adjustment plate. And we also have our adjustment lever here. That's going to be what we use to find that slide position. Then we're gonna have various different hardware here, bolts, nuts, spacers, and metal spacers with washers. And now some of the tools that we're also going to need during this install, go ahead and break out into that drill or impact driver here. You'll wanna have that 13 millimeter socket. Then it may also be a good idea to have around a 13 millimeter wrench and a ratchet to go with that socket if you have problems with getting your impact driver or drill in those spots. And then we're also gonna need this five millimeter Allen head wrench here. That's what we're gonna use to put on these bolts, which are gonna mount our seat plate to the seat itself. Now you'll also see another package of hardware here. This, these are gonna be components that you need if you have a TE Gator. The one we're working on today is a TX. The TE Gator has some other features to it that you need these extra pieces, but we will not be using them in today's install. So from here guys, first thing we'll do is we'll go over and take our seat off and get ready to start mounting our seat plate. First step, like we said, is just gonna be taking our seat loose from the existing bracket and then we'll actually remove that bracket as well. So we'll take that impact driver with our 13 millimeter socket and run these out. Then we can get that seat moved out of the way and then we'll just go ahead and remove that bracket just like that. Now, while you're here, we have these tabs these are gonna be our bushings for our seat bracket. Now, as you can see, they have these little tabs right here, these U-shaped tabs. So we wanna make sure and get those to where they are pointed facing the rear of the machine. So when we go on with that new bracket, it's ready to pivot like it's supposed to. Now that we've got the seat off, we'll go ahead and install our new seat plate here. Now, one thing that you'll notice about this is on your four holes, they are slotted. So what, you're, what you have there is a little bit of adjustment before you actually put the seat on with the slide. So for instance, if you wanna be a little further away from the steering wheel, we're gonna put those toward, put our holes on our seat towards the bottom of the slide. And if we wanna be a little closer, we'll put them towards the top. Now with me being a little bit bigger guy, I'm gonna go ahead and slide these all the way to the bottom here. So I'll be furthest away from the steering wheel. Then I'll go ahead and start adding our bolts here. Now this is where that five millimeter Allen wrench is gonna come in handy. So just go ahead and start those in. Then we'll go ahead and readjust and make sure we've got those slid all the way down where we want them or all the way forward. And then we'll just tighten these down. All right, now once we've gotten those tight on there and we have our seat plate put on, next thing we're gonna do is grab our adjustment here. Now this is where we're gonna make sure that we get this on the right side as if we go over here, this would be on the driver's side. As you notice, our tabs are facing down and we wouldn't be lining up with our slide plate. So we wanna make sure and put this to where our handle is facing towards the passenger side of the seat. Go ahead and get that put on and then we're just gonna slide on these washers here. Now, these are gonna fit loose around these bolts as what these are gonna serve is when we go on with our metal spacer that goes through our slide bracket, they're gonna have a little bit of an end to them that are gonna fit down in this hole, which will make this a snug fit once we mount that slide plate. So from here, guys, we'll go ahead and jump over to the machine, show you a couple of tricks there to make this install a little bit easier if you're doing it by yourself. Now, remember, when we go to put on this bracket, we had to make sure to face these tabs here towards the rear of the machine. And why we do that 
is to make sure that the U tabs here on our bracket are gonna line up with those. So when we install this, we're simply gonna sit those in, rest them, and then we can start to flip this back. But as you'll notice as I'm moving this, there's nothing that keeps this bracket from staying on those bushings. So a trick here that's gonna make this a little easier on you whenever you're trying to install the seat, we're gonna take a couple of seven inch zip ties. We're gonna slide those through underneath the frame here and have them come out the front side. And then once they've come out of the front side here, we're going to wrap them around the bushing here and then go through the whole of our plate and then go ahead and tighten that down. Get it pretty snug here as you want that to hold the plate to your bushing because whenever you're trying to do this one person when this just keeps falling off of those bushings it can get very very frustrating so make sure and just do that on both sides you have just enough room underneath that frame piece to run that zip tie up and through and once you get it through same thing on the other side let's get this zip down here get it tight so it's holding that plate to your bracket. And then once you have that there, at least your bracket is not coming off of those bushings as you're gonna have to get this in a position to where you can get the seat put on this bracket as you can't install the bracket here onto the seat and then put it on. You have to have your bracket on the machine, on the machine and then put the seat onto the bracket. And now is when the real fun begins is now we're going to work on getting our seat mounted to the bracket. You have to have your bracket at a little bit of an angle to make sure and get the seat down to where it'll fit into the holes. But one thing you have to keep in mind is you do have those loose washers sitting on the studs that are gonna go through our holes here. So this is a very slow, steady process that you have to do to make sure to get those washers lined up just right. That way these spacers with the edge here fits down into that washer that we previously placed on those studs. So I'd use the steering wheel to your advantage here, you know, set your seat there on the steering wheel and then just slowly, slowly start to set that seat down, trying to get it lined up with your holes there. And also at the same time, trying not to lose our washers. And once you start to have those kind of sitting in place as you can see like we have here on this top one those washers are going to try to escape a little bit so it's just slow and steady working those washers working that plate now once we have it set here next thing we need to do is try to get one of our spacers and nuts onto our washer there get one of our nuts started here just a little bit to help us hold us in place now we still are going to have to work and adjust as we go to getting that washer lined up just like that now we're seated in this top one now we can start to work on our others once again guys just slow and steady wins the race in this game I know it's a little hard to see there, but I'm just making sure that I'm trying to get those bottom spacers lined up with these to make sure that they're seating firmly, making a solid connection there. Just like that, should have all four lining up. We're all connected. Next thing to do is just tighten everything down. All right. Now we've got it all tightened down, it's time to test it out. Before I get on to test it out, I want you to notice that as you can see right here, as opposed to the passenger seat, that it is slid forward. You can see that it's a little closer to the front than the passenger seat is. So we know that we do have that installed correctly. Now I'll go ahead and hop on, try it out. Now for me, where it's at right now, this would be pretty uncomfortable. I'm pretty close to the steering wheel, which of course, like I said, I'm a bigger guy. So for a lot of people, this may be the position that you need to be in to be closer to those pedals and to that steering wheel. But I'll go ahead and reach down here, down here just on the right-hand side of the seat, pull up on that tab. Nice, smooth, easy slide. And now, as you can see, I've got plenty of room between me and the wheel. I can reach the pedals just fine. So therefore, we did our job with installing that kit. It works. It was simple and easy to install with the little bit of tip and trick that I showed you there on holding that plate. As it make this job a lot easier to be a two person job, but as we all know, when we're going through and we're doing those things in the shop and adding these stuff, a lot of the times, 
It's just you, yourself, and I. So what you need to do to add to that hardware kit to make that easier, go ahead and grab a couple of those seven inch zip ties, use those like I showed in the video to make this process a whole lot easier. But guys, that's all there is to it. It's that simple to install this kit. Very easy to do by yourself. A very nice attachment to have on these T-Series gaiters as everything is pretty simple and solid mounted. Remember, you don't have that adjustable steering column or the adjustable seat from the factory. So if you're interested in one of these, I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can go to buy this. It's part number BM23799. So make sure to check that out if you think this is something that you need for your machine. And while you're in there, guys, also if you have any other John Deere tractor part needs, lawnmower parts needs, or other gator parts needs, make sure to check out within that site what all we have to offer for you there. Now also guys, if you were watching this video, if this helped you out, if you liked this video, we just ask that you give us a like and a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And also if you notice that I left anything out or you have any other questions or comments or concerns, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back to you. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.